Hello, Renee Fomont here. You guys, this week's topic culminates in this final topic here, which is to, to get your power back. And one of the ways, one of the strongest ways, quickest ways, most definitive ways that you can get your power back from your narcissist is to control the reaction they're trying to manipulate, which we've been talking about all week, right? So I learned that and put it to practice and saw that it was real and my narcissist ended up leaving me alone never to hoover me again so i did it it came to fruition when they think they can't get to you they don't like that i have an itchy nose sorry get into a fight or kiss a fool that's what i'm told where i'm from they don't like that so if you do we talk we started to talk about it a little bit in the last video but if you don't react to them for example, things like, oh, wow, so you just did that again, you thought, so you'll never change. You'll always just be that kind of person. Like, this, these are the kinds of things I would say. But he kept throwing disaster date, disaster date, and disaster date at me, getting me to react. And towards the, the last bunch of them, I didn't react. And I would say, wow, you are really in a sadder state than I realized. That is what you feel? Or I'd say, that is what you think is gonna work? This isn't two years ago, I'm on to you now. And I felt bad that he really was trying everything. Not bad for him, but I felt bad that there was a human who was so desperate to get any ounce of attention that they were slinging mud at me, slinging anything, trying to cheat, trying to triangulate, trying to devalue, trying to insult me, trying to come and go, trying to do silent treatment. And it got to the point that I said, I really feel bad for anyone that lands with you. I really feel bad for your children. I feel bad for your mom. I feel bad for your grandchildren. I wasn't reacting anymore. I was explaining that I was out, that I was unaffected, that I was now aware of what was happening. I was now aware that he had a disorder. I was now not able to be manipulated. And I, would say things like, oh, wow, I, I reacted to that comment a year and a half ago. I'm amazed that right now it does nothing for me. Or I would say things like, that comment is so full of things that are contradictory, I'm shocked it worked on me before. Taking your power back and learning to not react to the narcissist is something I've been working on for so many years because, and I mentioned this last video too, uh, there are people in your life that exist and they might be narcissists, they might have a disorder, or they might just be people that like to get under your skin at work and your family, friends. And the best thing we can do, of course, of course, of course, of course, is to not react, right? That's, of course that is. It is so, hard to do that. It's nearly impossible. But I was reading a comment of a viewer recently and she said that she did exactly that. And she had a narcissist friend who was trying to get under her skin and this person just came in with all their magnificence, enjoyed life, didn't let that friend know for one second that they ill affected her. Now think that through. That is the best way to handle the narcissist. I have a peripheral narcissist who tries to get under my skin and they do and I allow it and I react. I'm getting better at not reacting, but it is a constant struggle and it is a continual thing that I'm working on and it, and whenever I react and then it's done, I say to myself, 
you gave them what they wanted again. Controlling our reaction is their win in whatever role they're playing in your life. And even if they're not somebody with this disorder, if they're just a toxic person, controlling your reaction is their win. They're trying to get under your skin. They're trying to bother you. Not reacting is the best way to handle it. Now, I'm saying that knowing I still have a lot of work to do, but I've thought through all the situations with my ex-narcissist, any peripheral narcissist, people that I've known watching relationships. We know for 100% sure that not giving them that negative attention, whether it's they're trying to get you mad and they want you to fight with them, that's important to them. That's what they're trying to get from you at that moment. If you don't give that to them, I've seen this happen too. When I have controlled myself, they pick and pick and pick and pick. I had somebody trying to bother me for a year and I wasn't reacting. And then we finally had it out a few months ago. What's wrong with you? You haven't been the same. Oh, I have a list. You want to go over it? Okay. Well, that was hours long and yeah, I lost it. But for the year that they were trying to pick a fight with me, which is what I, how I presented it to them, I said, look, this is what I see. You've been trying to pick a fight with me and I haven't engaged and I refuse to, but this is what you're trying to fight with me. I learned that if I didn't react, that person needs to go get their, that energy filled elsewhere. Not gonna be me anymore. But I often wondered, did that person go and pick a fight in the grocery store with someone? Did that person pick fights with their friends? They need to get that fed, that supply fed, whether it's negative or positive energy, and they want it from you, that's why they're trying it with you. But if you refuse and refuse and you refuse and you don't react, they have to go get that somewhere. Don't be their supply. Remember that not only when they go and get supply, this narcissistic supply, it's not just all the love bombing stage for them. They like the devalue part too, when they're making you feel bad. So if you're not coming back with them and arguing with them in any kind of devalue situation or argument with the toxic person or what have you, if they're not getting you to get to that point, they have nothing to do. They're pulling your hair on the playground, you're not reacting. They're gonna go on to the next person and pull her hair on the playground. You're not giving them anything? Do you know what that's like for a narcissist to not get anything and they're trying? They're poking you, poking you, poking you. You're giving them nothing. <gasps> it's like you don't see them. You don't regard them. It got to the point that my narcissist meant zero to me. Zero. He had no effect on me. I looked at him like a clown. A clown is what I is what I saw, a, a buffoon, a jester, going through life, sponging off people. The least attractive thing in the world, in my opinion. Just a clown sponging off people. But he did control my, action, my reaction for a long time. That's how I got involved with him. But once you see a narcissist, it's really hard to unsee the narcissist. And then you can react with what you have in your mind the clarity that you have. Like, okay, I know this person is coming at me trying to infuse this, trying to fight with me, trying to get me out of sorts. They like to know that they can push your buttons and get you all out of sorts. Don't. Just try to remain, it's hard. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it is honestly what they recommend, they, the powers that be, and it is truly and has been proven by so many that if you don't react to them. Now, if you're in a relationship with one and you're living together and you're like, well, what do you mean he cheated on me? How can I not react? You can talk to them about their character, I guess, and tell them that their low character of low level of integrity to make that choice is disgusting and you can tell them what you think about it but i mean like i shed a lot of tears over that narcissist and why he's not even in my life i don't even like him as a human i think if i had challenged myself and said 
what is bothering you right now, Renee? I knew from day one this guy wasn't a keeper. But I was spending time with him, getting sucked in. I think if I had challenged myself and said, what is bothering you right now, Renee? And I looked at the truth of it, I might have realized maybe it was my own ego. Maybe it was my own ego that made me be so... He went with somebody else. Of course he did. He's a louse. I knew that before I even knew about this narcissistic personality disorder. You can see that a mile away just by the way he's navigating through his life. So I really wasn't that shocked when there were other people, was I? No. It's ego. How dare you? I did all of this. You said all of this. And then how dare you? Oh, frig. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to say that word on, on social media. But let that go how your ego, forget that, forget that. And think about the actual, do you really care? I don't really care that he was with those people. And I think if I delved into it then, I, wasn't, I didn't care either. It speaks of him, it says nothing to do with me. So if that happened now, well, I started to say it even towards the end with him. I'd say, wow, you're just gonna do that for the rest of your life. I feel bad for the person you're with now. Are you going to tell her that you've been here trying to still be with me? What are you doing? But I wasn't crying and saying, leave her and come here. He was getting nothing and he eventually left. And that's, uh, I get that question a lot too. How do you finally make them go away? Well, if you stop reacting, they're not going to continue. They need their well filled up. If nothing is coming at them from you, they will eventually move on to go to someone who does react to them. Even if it's they find, you, you stop screaming at them because you're over everything. They'll find somebody else who screams at them. You stop paying them mind and giving them compliments and having a lot positive to say because you're over that angle too. They're gonna go find somebody for that. They're both supply. They're both feeding their ego. They're both feeding their power trip. They're both feeding them because it's all your reaction that they're controlling and that makes them feel way up here. If you suddenly stopped and they were getting nowhere, think about the narcissist. They're lost. He was lost walking around here trying to infuse a fight or be a certain way. And my brother and I are just hanging out, not really paying attention. He didn't know what to do with himself. And for the rest of that summer, what did he do? Devalue after devalue after devalue. Trying to get a rise, they say, out of a person. That's what he was trying to do. And did I? Sure. Oh, sure. I fed into it a few times. But when I finally got to the point that there was going to be no more reacting, I don't think he knew what hit him. I think he thought I would be under his control for many years to come. And it turned out, nipped it in the bud done. I'm uninterested. You can't affect me. And that was very freeing. It made me feel great about myself and it made me turn a corner. I just spit. <laughs> it made me turn a corner so that when I did encounter subsequent narcissists, which I've told you about, I could handle them and say, are you out of your mind? I'm not going on a cruise. I just met you tonight. You're not gonna control my reaction and make me swoon and say, oh, a cruise, really? Thank you. No, I don't need a cruise and I'm not going on a cruise with somebody I just met. And I'm not gonna be infused into a fight by you peripheral narcissists anymore. You guys, I gotta get a handle on that. I told you before I have a temper and I've been working on it forever, but there are certain people that can trigger that and I'm aware of it. And I really do have to follow my advice on this video, which it was partly inspired by my own tribulations and trials when it comes to this. I have to learn to keep my reaction down. I'm getting way better at it. I give myself a B, B minus. I got a lot of work still to do, but I am telling you the satisfaction you will get from not reacting is extraordinary. If you've never tried it, try it. 
If they come in with flowers, you can say thank you. You don't have to make a big, huge deal out of it. That's what we do for a narcissist. They do something good. We make a huge deal out of it. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You took the garbage out. You brought me flowers. Whatever it is. Big, huge deal. They don't deserve that reaction. And they don't deserve to be able to poke you with a fire poker and make you have a negative reaction to something that they're trying to make you fight about because they're bored or they want you in a bad mood or they want to bother you or they're trying to pick on you for whatever reason. Controlling our reaction is the ultimate way of taking our power back from the narcissist. They don't know what to do with a person that's not feeding them. If we're not acting as any kind of supply to them, they don't have any need for us. Their need for us is that we're supplied to them. If we stop reacting, we're stopped giving them supply. I also stopped by reaction. I stopped laughing. Because I knew that that was a thing that when we were in the middle of like that, the middle of the end where you're like, you want it to be over, you know it is, but then they would say something funny and they'll catch you laughing. I stopped doing that. I was like, no, I'm not smiling at anything. In my head, I said, I'm not smiling at anything. I'm not making him think he's charming. I'm not making him think he's charming me. I'm not making him think he's funny. He isn't. He's elementary and not funny and not charming. And I, I knew it was manipulation. So I even stopped laughing at anything. Stopped reacting, period. And he probably finally figured out this one has caught on. And he made his way to somebody else. He was getting nowhere here anymore. And I really want to get to that point with other narcissists that are afoot. Like I said, I'm struggling. It, it, we're all works in progress. But I am telling you, I know it for a fact. And you guys do too. You guys know it too. And I know it's impossible. How do you do it? Well, you have to channel the knowledge that they are trying to do this on purpose, which is what we've been talking about all week. They've been trying to do this on purpose. So don't give them that. Don't give them that. Don't satisfy their five-year-old urge to pick on you or their ego's urge to make you swoon by bringing you flowers. Thank you. Grab the vase, please. Thanks. No, those are beautiful. So what are we going to do for dinner? Like move on from it. They don't get big reactions anymore. They will eventually pack up their toys and leave, I think. And I'm not saying if you're with someone, I'm not trying to make him leave you. I'm trying to make you take the power back so that they stop manipulating you. Because even if they don't leave, they'll seek other supply to fill the holes that you're no longer filling for them. And you know what? You don't want to be fighting with people. It's exhausting. It takes it out of you takes it out of me. I don't like that side of myself at all. So this video is made for myself as well. If we don't react to the narcissist, we will take our power back. So let's all try to keep an eye on that. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you Monday.